really good, guys. It's your boy, Spider Man. It's AKA D Man. Your man. I'm sitting here with my sister, my day one, the one who holds it down for me, my co host, Daria. Say what's up, Daria. What's up, Daria? And welcome to another edition of the Smash Pay Per View Prediction Special. But before we get started, if you'd like to see this channel continue to grow and thrive, make sure to drop a like on any of our videos. Comment down below because we do like to hear from you, our Kaiju faithful. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. And now let's get it started. Takeover. NXT Takeover happening in Portland, the City of Roses. City of Roses. Yeah. Oh wait, that is Portland. I thought, I don't know why I was thinking Lily. <gasps> wow, what's the City of Lilies? I don't know. I just thought Lilies. What? I don't know, I just coincided Lilies in Portland. What? I, I did, okay. Wait. Wow, all right then, okay. Okay, wow, that, that derailed everything. Yeah. For a second there. I'm probably yeah. gonna get dinged, but whatever. We, we got we got takeover happening in Portland on the West Coast, and it's a standalone. Not only that, WWE is trying to try out to see how uh, everything works numbers-wise by having takeover happen on a Sunday instead of a Saturday. Personally, I like it when takeover's on Saturday. You gotta get uh, the whole I weekend too. ahead of you. Yeah. You get it in, you get it out. Since it's so tight, you don't have to, it doesn't feel like you're, you know, actually doing any kind of work yeah. uh, when, whenever, you, whenever that happens. So I, I do like it when it works like that, but apparently they're like, nah, let's, let's have it happen on a Sunday. But this is an action-packed card that we got yes. right here. Only six matches, but you know how TakeOver does, NXT does. They keep everything pretty tight. They move it along. There's not a lot of filler. All thriller, no, no filler. Let's get to the killer. <clears throat> no, and they are pretty good with storytelling. Oh, yeah, they the storytelling is amazing. Yeah. But if this is your first time watching us on the Smash Pay Per View Prediction Special, this is how we roll on here. We go down the line of the, the list of the matches on the card. We give you a brief breakdown of any kind of uh, particular story beats that you have to take notice of uh, during this match. And our ice machine is still cracking. Stop it. Stop. There you go. Yay. <laughs> And then we uh, give you our predictions to see who, who we think might win, uh, how the story might continue to progress, if there is progression or if it will come to a nice little conclusion. Yeah. Yeah. That's how we roll. It's, yeah. it's real quick. Just 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 like NXT. In all and out. No filler. Yep. Let's, let's, let's get it going. Let's, let's get it started with probably the best match of the night. With, with <laughs> like it, 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 it might be no contest. It might actually no. That's a lie, because I forget there's, damn, I'm lying. There is a lot of contests here. Yeah. But we have Keith Lee, the champion, the Ooh, North American one. champion against Dominic Dijakovic. Now, they've had matches stemming from well before they made it to NXT. NXT yeah. I think they were 2016, 2017's match of the year. Uh, they had it... Um, uh, PGW, uh, which was freaking awesome. Uh, and we've been waiting for this. They've had some good matches during NXT, yeah. but like nothing but has a been lot of them was interrupted yeah. or it's like a double count yeah, out or, or an interruption. Like that. Yeah. And it's like, y'all really playing with my emotions. Yeah. Stop yeah. that. But yeah. here we finally get them in a title match for the North American Championship. Keith Lee and Dominic Dijakovic, two big boys with big motors that can move impressively. Yeah. So who do you got in this amazing oh, match? Oh, God. And Keith Lee just got this title. Keith Lee just got this title. This is his first, uh, first title defense. Yeah, for NXT. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I believe it is. And with that being said, Dominic Dijakovic, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. I, see, yeah. I, I want to say Keith Lee retains because he just got this title. He's actually making this look pretty damn good. I mean, he's like really brought interest into this North American championship. Uh, I mean, like there's been a lot of storylines going around with this North yeah. American championship. A lot of it has been like Roderick. Uh, so Adam Cole is the first one who got it. Yeah. Um, 
uh, Velveteen Dream. Velveteen Dream, been chasing after it. Yeah, and uh, Roderick Strong, Strong had, it. had it for a bit. Uh, so like everything cer- uh, centered around this championship as like the quintessential mid card championship has been amazing. So like it's already had a, a story path to this point. Yeah. Uh, but again, as I said, Keith Lee and Dominic Dijakovic have been amazing, uh, just in how they've been building it up and just it's it's like in in physics when they have uh, potential energy. Yeah. Like literally, all it is is just like it's resting there on a shelf and you know that all that energy is collecting and yeah. ready to go and every time we think okay it's going to roll off and we're going to get to see just like all of this power amass underneath it it's like nah nah let's, let's tip it back into the center yeah. we'll, we'll save it for later but now it's happening yeah with the title in line um mark henry had a nice little video package for these two oh, uh during God, his past yeah. NXT. And it got me super hyped for this. And it really did a good job because Dominic Dijakovic, despite the fact that he has been, uh, you know, the one and two, uh, the, the two and the one two punch of, of Lee and Dijakovic. Yeah. He's kind of been the forgotten man in all of this. He because has. Because Keith Lee's made it to the main roster. He got the yeah. run from Roman Reigns. He's gotten like, uh, all the gifable moments. Like, he's the more popular of the two. He is. He is. Because what I still remember most poignantly, and I'm pretty sure I used that wrong. Just go. <laughs> but what I remember from the Royal Rumble was that little stinty head with Brock Lesnar. Oh, and yeah. And just looking at Brock Lesnar's expression like, holy shit, this guy is not one to play with. Until so, Braun Strowman decided yeah, to, until be Braun Strowman decided to be a goofy ass. until Braun Strowman ass. Just be a goof ass. Exactly. And like, right. oh, I'm gonna fight Keith Lee right. instead of Brock Lesnar. Exactly. Who's right there. Exactly. So once I saw that, I was just like, okay, I kind of want to see a match between these two because I feel like I know Brock, Brock Lesnar is good for his, what, sumo plexus? Sumo. The German suplexes, but yeah. Or, yeah, or Sioux Falls City or Sumix <laughs> City. And I know he's well known for that. But I don't think it's going to measure up with Keith Lee. <laughs> oh, God. And I just think that right there is going to be a match. Yeah, it should be. It but, should be. I mean, to just, I really want Keith Lee to retain. I don't know if it's going to happen. I have a feeling it's going to be interrupted. Really? I do. And I'm going to say, and I might be completely wrong, not Killian Dane, but who was the guy, Dominic? Dijakovic had a match with. Oh, um, during that promo with Keith Lee. Uh, uh, damn, I I am drawing a blank on his name. I know we who can't. he is. We can't. He's uh, darkness. Yeah, uh, uh, the Archer of yeah, uh, the Archer of Infamy. I cannot remember what the what name they gave him. Yes, him. I think he might interject in this Jesus match. Jesus Christ, I feel like an idiot because I can't remember his name right now, and it's it's stuck on the tip of my tongue. I, I'll, I'll probably remember it halfway through. We'll bust out in the middle of the show if we remember it. Yeah, we we, we probably. But will. I that. But you guys. You got Keith Lee, but you also got them possibly having an interruption. In I, I think so. I got Keith Lee retaining. I definitely got Keith Lee retaining because you don't you don't hot shot a title like this. Yeah. Like you 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 might do that for like you know the United States title, maybe the Intercontinental title, on yeah. the main roster, but you don't do it for a title like this, especially considering the fact that they built it up uh, to be such an amazing thing yeah. can, uh, outside of these two. So yeah, right. And can I say one thing? I I think they might portray this storyline to WrestleMania. I wouldn't be surprised. Threat. I wouldn't be surprised. And I wouldn't be surprised if it was triple threat between Keith Lee, Dominic Dijakovic, and the darkness of Archer. <laughs> no. You know what? Forget it. Forget it. While, while, while we're doing that, you look him up. I will look him up. <laughs> we'll, we'll be unprofessional on this one because I can't yes. remember his name. And it's, my it's little gonna kill anime me. phone. It's going to kill me. Yeah. But while you're doing that, let's go up because we got a street fight between Dakota Kai and Tegan Knox. If you have not yes. been paying attention to this, uh, then you really missed out on War Games, which is probably one of the biggest heel turns I think I've ever seen uh, in NXT or uh, wrestling in general, just because of how sharp and stark it was. Uh, basically, Dakota Kai was left off of the uh, left off of Rhea Ripley's team for the longest time yeah. because they didn't think that she had the the intensity to uh, really uh, succeed in a match like War Games. And uh, backstage, Mia Yim got assaulted by some random person. We don't know who yeah. until we found out that it was Dakota Kai. That's right. 
So she gets pulled up and as a reserve, and everybody's like, "Okay, yeah, let's get this, let's get this match going." And she turns on Tegan Knox, who had just surgically repaired and returned back from a massive surgery. Yes, that was from a massive surgery. Yes, and it was brutal. It was vicious, and it had me gasping the whole time. And that's been basically the start of this. Base sister turned on sister. Basically, kind of like a uh, Bailey and Sasha. This is more intense than Bailey. Oh, I, and I love way, it, and that's more, and I, that's more. what I love about like, it. I I think these two like have really pushed the boundaries because you really feel like oh excuse me Jesus Christmas you really feel like they hate each other yeah and this and like that's what makes it that's what makes this worse when when wrestling has a lot of emotion in it that's when wrestling really works uh, but Dakota Kai uh, versus Tegan Knox in a street fight. Nothing's on the line. It's just like, you know. No, it's just a brawl. Rights. It's just, yeah, just, just going to be a brawl. brawl. And, and with Dakota Kai, um, shit, what was I going to say? Oh, with Dakota Kai, she's really embracing this heel role. And I thought she was going to look awkward and uncomfortable because, of course, she was, she well, was I mean, like, like a baby face. Because, like, she's she's the she's almost prototypically Bailey. Yeah. Like, like everything, for everything about her reminded me way too much of Bailey. Yeah, and that's what I thought she was. And I was like, okay, well, she's just going to be another Bailey. Yeah, no. She she no. showed she showed her natural born ass. Yeah, right? she's showing it. Because that match she had with Candice LeRae, she showed her ass. Oh, yeah. She's had a lot of, she had a lot of yeah. really, really good matches yeah. ever since she turned heel. She uh, has. But, like, it's taken a little, it's taken, like, a few weeks for you know, her character, her new character to really shine through. Yeah. Because a lot of times, like, she didn't speak. She she didn't have any promos. She just kind of mean mug people. Yeah, yeah. Dyed her hair dark and just was just like, okay, I'm a bad guy now. But now it's like, yeah, I see what she's about. Like, she's a, she's a cheater. She's an opportunist. She's an asshole. And I absolutely like you still haven't found them, have you? I have not. I'm still looking. Wow. Wow. Okay. How Darkness. about how about this? Let's 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 switch. Let's switch. All right. Let's let's let's, yeah, let's, let's switch. switch, 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 switch Please, switch, switch. because like you you staring in the phone trying to find him. I am, and I'm not engaging. My apologies, because I'm not engaging as I should be. But yes. So I mean, if you were to ask me with this street fight, who would win? I want to say Dakota Kai. Damian Priest. Damian Priest. That's what it is. Jeez, I know right. the D in we there. We got him. We're Damian done. Priest. We're done. Damian Priest. Now, who you got? Dakota Kai, Tegan Knox. Dakota Kai. You got Dakota Kai. Uh, this is not. This is not a blow off match. This, this, no, it's this not. Can't be. This can't be how it ends. No, it's not. And, 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 I don't think and, it, is. and it ends when to- Tegan Knox gets gets success over Dakota Kai. Yeah. Because there's no reason for there's no reason for the story to continue. Uh, because the heel has no reason to keep it going right. if the baby face gets the win. Right. Uh, at least in my opinion. That's 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 that's, no, that's my I philosophy agree. when it comes when and it comes to And they really could turn this into something. Yeah, it should be. It really should be. And they could turn it into something and then it can go forward towards the women's championship match or even something else on Raw and SmackDown. I mean, it's already interrupted the women's championship match because yeah. they had that uh they had that battle royale a few weeks back that right. uh, that Bianca Belair won and Dakota Kai was left off of that card yeah. and she managed to eliminate Tegan Knox despite And I, I thought that was pretty smart although I really wanted to see her in the Royal Rumble I thought that was pretty smart how they played that I mean uh she they both kind of I think they were also involved in the Royal Rumble too Uh well Tegan was Yeah Tegan, Dakota Tegan was, was not. I don't think Dakota Kai came out there No she didn't But like you you're really seeing how Dakota Kai as like sort of a uh, secondary storyline, how she's being left off again. Yeah, like she she's showing a lot of animosity towards Tegan Knox because yeah. uh, because she was left off of the War Games as, right. as the initial entry uh, into Rhea Ripley's team, and now you have the women's uh, the women's championship battle royale. Royal Rumble. Right. Tegan Knox has got all of that. Yeah. Dakota Kai is left off. Right, and not only that, Dakota Kai has been in this longer. Tegan Knox is just getting back on her feet, just yeah. getting her grand. Like Dakota Kai's been holding, surgery. been yeah. holding her own. All like, this time. She's got her ass kicked by Shayna Baszler when exactly. Shayna Baszler was doing all of that run. And she, she had like was a the couple one who was getting forgotten Shana. about yeah. uh, when Amber Moon was, was facing for the championship. Yeah. And she had the championship. And Tegan Knox has just been MIA because she's been nursing it. Right. And now she's back and she's getting all of the attention and all the recognition. Right. And so, Dakota's being left like, and it's that, like... Yeah, there's that little yeah. secondary storyline right there. Uh, but I got the Kai for this. I, yeah. I, Dakota Kai needs to win this. Not not just like 
as our character, but just period in terms of story to keep yeah, it going. Yeah. So this needs and, to continue. And, and I think she will. And I think they'll keep this storyline going. Yeah. Let, and I think they'll turn it into something for WrestleMania because WrestleMania is not that far away. So, yeah. Uh, so this 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 card's uh, order is not set in stone, no, uh, or anything. But but we're lo- we're looking at it right here. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, the women's match does main event in this particular takeover because their NXT has made no bones about having that happen. Yeah, in other takeovers. But yeah. here we go. We have Adam Cole versus Tommaso Ciampa for the NXT Championship. Jesus. Adam Cole, baby. All right. So you got to give me a baby. <laughs> Adam Cole, baby. Thank you. I appreciate that. You didn't. You, you almost left me off. No, you I almost, didn't. You almost, you almost forgot. I'm just you almost forgot a brother. dreading and making a like decision. That. Yeah, it's going to be hard to make a decision. I'm because, just dreading. Because Goldie, daddy is it's home. home. Daddy's daddy home. is home. Tommaso Ciampa had probably the best promo. Wednesday was good wrestling in general because we were, oh, we yeah. were simultaneously watching, watching AEW and, and NXT at the same yeah. time. Because Santana While had a talking nice to little coworker, promo. I know. Oh, yeah. While having a phone conference with our coworkers, going like, it, it was nuts. How should we do this show? It was absolutely freaking nuts. Yeah, and they were advising us, like, you know, kind of just kind of go into this and, you know, yeah, just 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 just, jump, just, just jump, jump into it, just jump head first into it. But if you can watch AEW too, because like wrestling is good, good wrestling is good wrestling. It doesn't yeah. matter which company is coming from. But um, Tommaso Ciampa had probably one of the best. Um, promos and video packages that he had because he's sitting here in the conference room back there where the, where uh, a lot of the NXT uh, people for the performance center, people who are prospective uh, WWE superstars sitting in the back and they study tape and they review promos and just they're there, they're there to learn. He's sitting there in one of the conference rooms watching himself watching back a playback of him relinquishing the title to Triple H with a neck brace on mm-hmm. in the same conference room. Yeah. And he's like, I'm telling everybody that I'm going to be back better than ever, but I'm scared. Yeah. I'm scared because I don't know that. And he goes through every single bit of emotion that he's had because he is the first NXT champion to have relinquished the title without having lost it. The other is Asuka for the women's championship. Yeah. And no, no, Ember Moon actually lost hers. So yeah, no. So it's just Oscar Asuka, and, Asuka and Tommaso Ciampa, the only yeah. ones who relinquished the title, uh, either due to injury or just simply because they got called up. Right. Uh, and he hasn't. He hasn't been beaten. He has not been beaten uh, for the championship. And here he is having to face a a new champion in Adam Cole for a title he's never technically lost. Right. Yeah. So like that mentality is is freaking amazing. Adam Cole has an amazing match with Kushida. He, uh, Tommaso Ciampa comes down to the ring yeah. and he says, that, that with that, I take back my life, Adam Cole says, over my dead body. And I think Tommaso should have rebuttaled and said, that can be arranged in Portland. Because I would have said that. I'd have been like, oh, well, you, you're, you're also very goofy, so. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying. I would have just rebuttaled like, and sir, that can be arranged in Portland. But Tommaso Ciampa, since he's been back, since, yeah. since he's been back a second time, because yes. he came back bigger than ever, then he got injured again, but he moved, yeah. got moved up to the main roster. And now he's back again. Yes. Now, say yes. Yes. I'm sorry, I was like in a mid yawn trying to say yes. So that's what happened. Tommaso Ciampa's back bigger than yes. ever. Yes. Who do you got on this? Because this 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 one, this one's a hard one to call. Because like, Adam Cole has had the title for a long time. A long and, time. And it's one of those situations where it's like... You kind of might want him to keep it. Yeah, you kind of want him to keep it. <laughs> but, but Tommaso Ciampa is like the perfect challenger to take it off of him. Yeah. So so who's better served in this? At a, long, a lengthier title reign with, with Adam Cole or Tommaso Ciampa continuing to chase the title? Like, like, like what, what's, what's a better story? Here. Here's my question. If Adam Cole retains, couldn't can they keep this going? I mean, like to where he there, there's no there's no it? problem with doing that because like aside from this, the next takeover is WrestleMania. That's what I'm saying. The next takeover is 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 on the, is on the weekend of WrestleMania. Right. So they can have their rematch in WrestleMania. Yeah. So you could just keep him chasing or like terrorizing Adam Cole till WrestleMania. Yeah. 
where he succeeds and actually gets the championship. See, now you got me on it. Sorry, it is, it is, it is, it is addictive. But, yeah. So you got Adam Cole. I, I don't know. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta give me a baby. You, uh, gotta, you gotta be, you gotta be confident in your, in your Cole picking. Uh, I'm not confident in this at all. But you still, I, I need a baby. I, I'm gonna say Adam Cole because I really believe they're gonna, I just, I mean, because having Tomasa win right now, although that would be fine because, I mean, any challenger you put against Tommaso, oh, yeah, it'll be he'll make good. them look badass yeah. because that's just how he is and that's how good of a wrestler he is. Yes. Um, however, it looks more attractive if Adam Cole retains and Tommaso continues chasing him for Goldie. Yeah, because that's, that's in another two months. Yeah. It's in another, uh, yeah. another month and a half. Yeah. Uh, a little bit, but yeah. Okay, so I got Adam Cole. Mm-hmm. Well, like you, I'm not very confident uh, with, yeah, this, with this one because uh, Tommaso Ciampa would look amazing with with Goldie back around his shoulder. Yeah, and, um, I, and I believe he's not going to be without gold for a long. Oh time. yeah, no, no, I, I he's I, like I don't Charlotte Flair, that. like he can't. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't believe he's going to be without the title for a while. Yeah. Um, yeah, it seems like the better play would be to have it happen at uh, Takeover Tampa, right, right before uh, WrestleMania. Yeah. I, I think that would be the better play. Um, and, uh, uh, mainly because, like, Tommaso Ciampa wins it. I don't think they're they're going to be uh, starved for challengers. No. But I'm trying to figure out what you do with Adam Cole after that. Because Adam Cole is amazing on his own. Yeah, he He's is. amazing on his own. Like, yes. when, he, when he was chasing uh, uh, Gargano and when he had the title, he was still pretty. He was still interesting, damn good. He was still a great heel. Yeah. Um, but... Since you had Adam Cole with the title for so long, like what's next for him? Right. Just getting the title back again. Yeah. That's 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 going to be my issue. Uh, yeah, with, and with, I don't want that to happen because Adam right Cole here. is damn good. Yeah, he's really he's good. He's damn good as a and wrestler. I, I, and, and I don't want them to fast track him. Well, it won't be fast track, but I don't want him. To, I don't want him to get pushed up to the main roster just yet. I I, I, I don't think I don't, they'll, they'll split up the undisputed era. I, I'm not worried about them splitting up because uh, you you can't. They're a package deal. They got to be a package. Deal. I was gonna say yeah, but no, I, I'm more worried yeah. like what are they going to do with him on the main roster? Yeah, and like you know, <laughs> there's, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of gears. Yeah. Involved with this. There's a lot of moving yeah. parts involved with this. But you know what? I got Adam Cole for this. All right. Just, just, it's, it's got to be Adam Cole. Yeah. Uh, let, 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 let this play out a little bit more. Let this yeah. play out a little bit more. Uh, because this I, the promos vicious. have been amazing. Yeah. They've, they've been great uh, for this one. And I just see this can get vicious. Oh, Jesus Which Christ will make it be. even more exciting for Tampa. Oh, yeah. Because you can even just let them have regular matches. Oh, yeah. And let Tommaso win or Adam Cole win. Yeah. I, I, I think Adam Cole wins, uh, but I don't think it's going to be clean. I don't think it can be clean. Oh, it's, I, I think there's got to be shenanigans involved. Of all. course. I don't think there's going to be like anybody hopping in and interfering and hitting. Yeah. You know, but I think yeah. it's going to be like a mistake happens and Adam Cole is going to play the ultimate opportunist, which has just been the perfect way the, uh, the, the, to play his character. Yes. Like he's great just like one on one without any interference. But at the same time, he's also a dick. Yeah. So let him be a dick in this match, yeah. and let him let him sneak away with the win. I'll, yeah. I'll I'll take that. Followed up with that, we have the undisputed era, the champions, NXT tag team champions, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly versus the Broserweights, Matt Rude and Pete Dunne. Those Matt those Rude? video packages. Wait, the, pause. I, I I said Matt Rude, didn't I? Matt Riddle. Thank you. I was gonna say Matt Rude. Who the hell is Matt Rude? Is he like Bobby Rude's brother? Half they brother, are related. Cousins. You didn't know that. Matt Riddle and Bobby Riddle, they're related. In real life? Yeah. That's bullshit. No, they're not. They're really related. That's bullshit. I'm going to look that up after, the, <laughs> after we get done, because that's bullshit. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Matt Riddle and Pete Dunne. I don't know why I said Matt Riddle. Matt Riddle. Don't know. Matt Riddle and Pete Dunne. The Brewers are weights. Um, if you managed to cast, uh, yes, well, it's... It's yesterday for us. <laughs> this past Wednesday's NXT, they had a lot of nice little video packages. Oh yeah, which really lets you know, like they 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 are kind of high on uh, Riddle and Dunn being uh, a tag team. Being a tag team, yeah. this, this, it's actually this working. Goes, yeah, it works because it goes beyond uh, <clears throat> just the the Dusty Classic. Because like they they they, it seemed like they were high on Ricochet and Alistair Black when they won. Yeah, uh, the Dusty Classic. But then like you know they brought them up to the main roster and. Yeah had him f off after you know you know that draft happened right 
and like nothing happened between the two and it's just done but like this it seems like they actually you know care about this a little bit more they, they, they got the little video packages going they got them riding around in golf carts they're letting Riddle just go off the cuff with a lot of his weed references yeah. they just don't they just don't care it's like hey do what you need to do to make this work and since it's working they're just gonna continue to go with yeah, it yeah yeah um so the Rosa Waits managed to go through on this bracket some some pretty damn good teams they, they okay. beat up uh, Mark Andrew uh, and the Mod Squad. Okay. Uh, Mark Andrews and Flash Morgan Webster. Uh, they managed to beat Imperium, though, thanks to a little bit of interference from uh, the Undisputed Era. Yeah, sure that's that, true. Yeah, yeah to make yeah. sure that they, they got that lost. And then they beat the grizzled young veterans. Yes, they did. GYV. Yes, which I, which surprised the hell out of me because I thought they were going to let GYV. I, I did too. Especially especially considering the fact that they were going to Devlin be the cruiserweight champion. Yeah, I didn't I didn't, I I didn't expect that. I thought, I thought I thought they were going to let let them be the uh, the the best of the best, the heap of the heap, the best of the best yeah. uh, tag teams in NXT all around. But apparently not. So now we have the Bruiserweights, uh, the Broserweights, the Bruiserweights, the Broserweights versus the Undisputed Era. Who do you got? God, are they going to make this a package deal with Matt Riddle and Pete Dunne? What do you mean? Um, This could possibly be another storyline for Tampa. Okay. I mean, I don't see why not. Um, <laughs> so if it's going to be another storyline, I would say Undisputed Era retains. Okay. And then you got Matt Riddle and Pete Dunne. Oh, you saying that they're going to break up? No. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. No, I think they're just going to continue to chase them. Okay, okay. But I might be dumb in my thought process. No, there, there, there are no there are no dumb answers yeah. in this. It's, 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 a, it's about your gut. It's about what you think is going to happen. But I think so go for it. Yeah, and then I think it's going to be some bullshit interference. So you got bullshit interference happening in this yeah. tag team. The NXT Tag Team Championship. Yeah, match. I'm going to stick with Undisputed Air. If, if I, have I am to, not confident in any of these decisions I'm making. Nor right am I. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm sorry. I'm not. If I have to um, make at least one bold prediction, this is going to be the title that actually changes hands. Okay. This is going to be the title that changes hands. That's fair. Uh, the only title that changes hands. I got the bros away. It's getting the win. Okay. Because uh, the other people era are a little bit more vulnerable. Uh, and the wrestling styles work perfectly against each other. Yeah. Uh, because uh, Bobby Fish uh, and Kyle O'Reilly are like the one two scalpel, you know, that works against particular body parts and leg- ligaments and everything. Uh, they can break you down bit by bit. And they work perfectly, but also Matt Riddle and Pete Dunne are the perfect counter to that. Yeah, they are. You know, because like size won't get you a win against the Undisputed Era no, no. Uh, for the Tag Team Championships. But skill and wiriness and just like full on, I'm a whoop your acidness. Yeah, that, that can up. That can work against them. So I, I got I got the bros away getting this win. Um, I don't know what happens to the titles after this, uh, but uh if anything, the Undisputed Era, they, they they can lose the titles without it, you know, taking the, the shine, the veneer off the titles if they manage to win it back later. Okay, yeah. That, that's, this, this is the one title that doesn't have that sort of vulnerability. Okay. Um, uh, the Women's Championship, the NXT Championship, the North American Championship, you don't hot shot those titles. But the Tag Team Championship, anything can happen because, there's, uh, as I said, there's so many moving parts. It's 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 okay for that to, for them to lose it here in Portland and win it back a month and a half later at Tampa if need be. Okay. So I don't I don't, so I, don't, I, don't, I, don't take, I don't take any issue uh, with them possibly losing the title here. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Moving on to a non-title <laughs> match, there is no filler match here. I know we said throw all throw yeah. filler, but we meant that. Yeah. We got Finn Balor as the prince. He's he's coming back as the prince, not 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 the 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 demon king. No, the thing kind of fucked up Finn Balor. Yeah, that which is probably the best story, uh, yeah. the, the best tangential storyline in all of WWE is whoever faces the fiend gets changed yeah. and they're keeping those changes. Yeah. Seth Rollins decided, Hey, I'm the Monday night Messiah. Yeah. Uh, Daniel Bryan is, uh, even though he's like, I haven't changed. He's kind of been changed. He's kind it of may changed. have been for the better, but he's yeah. kind of been changed. Yeah. And now Finn Balor, he's like, he's dropped trying to be the smiley face. Here are my abs and everybody yeah. loves me. And here, everybody's doing the, the arm thing is like, yeah. no, he's just like, 
I'm coming for you. I'm aiming at you. I don't give a shit no more. Yeah. And I love that. But he's yes. got Johnny Gargano. Johnny Gargano, who just ran his ass down in a satellite interview, uh, basically saying it's like, you know, no, I've been about this life. You left. And when you left, I, I'm not saying I don't want the Finn Balor that lost to Bobby Lashley six weeks in a row. Yeah. I don't want the Finn Balor who everybody yeah. forgot about and he had to run with his tail tucked between his legs back to the black and gold brand. I want the Finn Balor that ran this down. Yeah. yeah. And I think, be careful what you wish for, Gargano. Be careful what you wish for <laughs> because he said, it's like, I'm going to take that NXT flag and I'm going to plant it right through your heart. And Finn's just straight up. And I, Anybody else, anybody else's line would have been cheesy. Yeah. But just like the intensity that he put, the, the intensity and the sincerity that he put this line out for is that he's like, the, well, sorry, I don't have a heart. Yeah. And I freaking believe that. I was like, oh, all right, shit. this, this is going to be a knockdown drag out fight. Yeah. I'm ready for this. Yeah. So we got Finn Balor versus Johnny Gargano. Who do you got on this? Oh, Finn Balor. Damn, that was quick. Oh, you, not like, like, you, you, you sit here, you sit <laughs> here and hemmed and hawed for four freaking matches. I did. Where you were like, oh, I don't know. Yeah. But I like know. I said, Finn Balor versus Johnny Gargano. You like Finn. You may say you're not confident, but you said Finn. Yeah. I got Finn. I'm going to tell you why. This could be something. And it wouldn't I mean, make it's sense already for, something. Yeah, well, I'm saying they could make it bigger. Oh. And it wouldn't make sense for Gargano to win and then continue to go for Finn. What does make sense, though, is Finn winning and giving right. Gargano exactly what he asked for. Right. So now Gargano has to do <clears> what? <throat> He has to continue to chase Finn Balor until he gets that win. Yeah, I want to see. I want to see Gargano just absolutely obsessed with Finn. I want to yeah. see Finn. That's what I mean. Like, like this I just, like a, I just yes. beat you. I don't need. I don't have anything to do with you. Yeah, Run and along. I just want and Gargano at, just obsessed yes. with him. This this could easily be the Gar. This could easily be Gargano Champa too with Finn. Finn playing the part yes. of Champa. Yeah, it has no title implications, but no. just I want to see Gargano obsessed with him because he's like, I want. I need to be NXT's. Main guy. Yeah. I need and that. I and you came in here flipped. and you threatened that. Yeah. I'm cool with that. Yeah. I got like, I want, I want Gargano to do some bitch assness shit. I mean, like, he, that's how deep. I, he already did it before. Oh, I know. He's already done it before. I know. And I love it. I want him to do it again. Okay. All right. I do. So you got Finn. I got Finn. I got Finn. Moving on to the final match of the night, which I'm hoping is actually the uh, the main event for this. Six matches is going to be moving along really quickly. We've got Rhea Ripley versus give. Bianca Belair. And here's a nice little wrinkle. Charlotte Flair is just a specter hanging over this story here. Yeah. Uh, Bianca Belair wins the uh, the Battle Royale to become number one contender for the Women's Championship. Rhea Ripley wins it away from Shayna Baszler, who is now officially on the main roster going after Becky Lynch and biting her on the neck with, with some what? weird By the way, what shit. the fuck is that? I, like, I didn't expect that to happen, but no. okay. So, like, it's, it's Rhea Ripley, it's Bianca Belair. There's really not much of a story between these two. No. It's just Bianca wants the title, Rhea doesn't want to lose it. Yeah. That's that. But the story gets better because Charlotte Flair comes down to NXT yep. and tries to dismiss not just just Bianca, but, but Rhea, Rhea Ripley, Ripley at the well. same time. And they both teamed up to knock her ass the frick out. Yeah. They did that. They did. They moved, they moved that along. They did. And that's hanging because I honestly believe... This is going to be a bigger thing at WrestleMania, but before before I before I give any of that, what do you think is going to happen with this match? I'm not even okay. I'm not even asking you who's going to win. I'm asking you what do you think is going to happen? Here's okay. I think Rhea is going to retain. Bianca is ready. Mm -hmm. She deserves it. She's been ready. Yeah, she's, she's ready for ready. she's ready for gold around her. Oh yeah, and I think she will be good with gold around her because I think she will be like that. <laughs> bitch when you want that title like okay. yeah no if you want it you it's like a Shayna yeah but Rhea is the same way too yeah uh, I think Rhea is going to retain because I believe Charlotte is going to interfere because I don't see them just bringing her in and then just letting Rhea and Bianca have this match yeah like it's a reason you got Charlotte in the middle of all this yeah you do it's a reason um that's the only reason why I think Rhea will Re retain. retain and I think it's going to continue till WrestleMania. WrestleMania. All right. So I'm going to say a, a couple of things. Number one, this only proves how bad the Bailey heel turn has become. Yeah. Because 
Shayna's moving up to the main roster to go after the Raw title. Charlotte's getting involved with the NXT title, and that's yeah. likely going to be a big thing that happens not on WrestleMania weekend, but on WrestleMania proper. Yeah. I, I believe. I believe that they're going to go go for something like that. But, like, the SmackDown Women's Championship is just lingering. It is. It's just there right now. Yeah. And it's a shame. It's a big shame it to is. me. Um, but that being said, I think Charlotte does get involved in this match. I think she ends up making uh, Rhea retain because it's going to end up being a no contest. Yes. Uh, Rhea's not going to win clean. Uh, she's going to retain just due to the rules. Right. Uh, Bianca's not going to lose herself. It's just going to be, you know, a no contest. And it's going to be yeah. pushed to a triple threat match yeah. at WrestleMania, which I think is... If, if you asked me uh, about this, like, a year ago, I'd be like, that's weird because... You know, you won the Royal Rumble, so why wouldn't you go for the the, right. the main titles? But like, it makes sense here because she's not setting her sights on Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley set her sights on, on her, sh- right? And that's what makes this work, right? Because the champion called you out, right? Like the champ, like uh, uh, Becky. I don't recall called out Charlotte. I think no. she said. I think she did it dismissively. Like, yeah, I know you're gonna come after me, Charlotte, and like. That Everybody's was like, that's it. okay, that's it. Yeah. And I think Bailey said the same thing. It's like, I think you're gonna come after me, Charlotte. But like, no, she came she all the way actively, from NXT, yeah. walked into her face yeah. on her brand, held the title in her face, and said, You wanna you wanna go up against a real champion? Come after me. Yeah. And that's that's what makes this story so much better yes. uh, than her going after any other championship. Yeah. And I I don't think that it's fair to let Bianca Belair be an aftersight for this. So it's got to be a triple threat. It's got to be. I, I don't think it will be. And and I'm going to have to say, I don't think it will be. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I, no, I don't no. think it will be. No, I don't think I so. think this is going to bump Bianca even further. I mean, Bianca already has been given the, uh, I'm going to call it the Keith Lee rub. She has. Because Royal Rumble was great. Yeah. Her Survivor Series win yes. was great. Uh, war games happening the day before Survivor Series she put on a show so I think that they're high on Bianca Bell very high and you don't you don't not pull the trigger yeah because uh, NXT has not has been doing a good job of pulling the trigger when it's necessary right when it comes to uh, when it comes to a lot of their talents uh, the main roster not so much because like Shinsuke they should have pulled the trigger on him and he should have been yeah. champion during his run against AJ Styles same thing for Oscar opinion. yeah and same for Oscar she should have been champion uh, yeah. a much better champion than what they got than, than, than what than what they got out of her yeah, but. Um, because they had to let the, a lot of these goofy storylines go yeah. uh, but Bianca Belair and the NXT I think they're going to pull the trigger on her if it's not going to be at Wrestlemania it's going to be very soon yeah. um, and she's going to be in a perfect position for this yes. it might also propel Rhea Ripley because she shouldn't be in the, in the she either be. because yeah. she was the one who was in charge of the NXT yeah. women win, uh, winning in Survivor Series. Exactly. She's the one who won at War Games. Yeah. And like, she's just right there. She's perfect yeah. for this. Uh, and she she's got the retained look. from Shayna. Yeah. And she even went through with Shayna's brutalness. Yes. Like, yeah, she, she she's, survived She's that. perfect for this. Yeah. And, and I think like, if, if anybody can make the translation over to the main roster, it would be, it, it'd be Rhea Ripley. Like she she's easily got this, and I think yes. Bianca Belair, uh, uh, let her let her spend like another six months down there as NXT champion. Just sure. Let her, just let, cause like they yeah. need they need a foil to build up other women too. Yeah. Cause that's cause like let, let's be real. Uh, when it comes down to NXT, as much as you love them, as much as, as much as they're the third brand, people have to transition to the main roster. Yes. And when they do, that means you have to replenish it with new stars, and you have to continue to build new stars, and you need people to build up against. And yeah. Bianca Belair is perfect to build up against. Because she makes she makes everybody look good. Yeah, whenever she like wrestles, she, she's everybody. At, she's, at, yes. she's at this point where, as a heel, she makes everybody look good because she knows how to play this dastard, not even dastardly, just this cocky asshole yeah. heel, and she's perfect for that. But for this one, I say it's no contest. I think Charlotte's going to get involved. I think so. I think she's going to knock yeah. a lot of people out and do a bunch of crazy stuff. And I didn't pull up my little little word document so I can you do forgot. a final part. I kept forgetting to do that. But yeah. We are being professional We today. are being absolutely professional, forgetting people's names and yeah. everything. But here we are. That's NXT TakeOver in Portland. Uh, I think it's going to be an amazing show. Probably oh, a bunch of five-star matches potentially in this. Uh, Keith Lee, Champa. Uh, uh, Finn Balor and even Rhea Ripley and Bianca Belair. I think yeah. they com- I think they will complement each other perfectly yeah. because you know that's just that's just how they are. Uh, but with that being said, I don't know why my phone decided to go off right now. So it, it, stop. <laughs> but with that being said, you want me to call this out? 
Yeah. You, 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 you had no confidence right there. What's up with that? Mm. What's up with that? Go for it. All right. As always, you can catch our podcast on iTunes. Link in the description below down there or at the website at hillkaiju.com and there you can find our shows articles and our merchandise uh, at hillkaiju.com slash shop to keep the site up and running keep us providing you with prime content you can also join the kaiju record crew by following us at the hill kaiju on twitter where we'll provide you with any updates developments and insights again remember to drop a like on any of our videos subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon because we are providing you with uh, uh, videos every single day from Let's Plays to wrestling to movies and much, 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 much more because we got a lot of stuff. We have a lot of stuff that we care about. We got a lot of stuff that we want to talk about with you and share with you our Kaiju Faithful. But until then, thank you for joining us and remember, keep smashing. Catch you later. <laughs>